ساخت Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hippie Tesla, and tonight we're continuing our adventures in the town of Silent Hill, the first one for the PlayStation 1. My god, it's giving me troubles running this game with the capture card and all. I'm even thinking about uh, going back to the old capture card, but I've achieved such a good picture quality with this one that I'm honestly kind of... I don't want to go back to the interlacing lines in the stream. This is much clearer. Though, like, this map opening it up, it's bugging me quite a bit. If I do it a few times fast, it'll go to no signal, because can't change signals that often, that quick, so, uh, yeah, there's that. Other than that, I can't wait to continue this game, <laughs> opening this session with bitching. That is something to go for. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember this, Officer Gucci. I love them in the movie, by the way. All right. We've seen this buyer, producer, uh, exporter, dealer, manufacturer. Yeah, that thing. Okay, nothing here. I think we should just go outside and greet the monkeys or rompers, as they're called. Nothing in the police station, I think. Nope. Not even a pen. A free pen, Harry. You don't want a pen? No wonder your life's going to shit. Okay. What about this? No. It's time to face the demons. Literally. Ah, where did you come from, asshole? I remember being a lot easier to ah, move to kill them. <laughs> Woo! Okay. I'm gonna say back to the police station and let's, let's rethink the strategy. Jeez, they're fast, okay? I know it's like two or three bullets to down them, and then you can take them out. But that guy was, whoa. <laughs> Maybe just switch to the shotgun at this point, though I do have an incredible supply of bullets. You know what? I'm gonna try to down. I have enough. I'm gonna save some shotguns because I have enough of these 17 and 5. <laughs> and going to the hospital, I have a pink I'll lack health item so let's switch doors maybe double trick them they should reset position probably health too yeah one down with one down the second one will be a lot easier should be somewhere there Yeah, all right. What else is here? Probably a wing spawn of Satan. Um, we don't have to kill any of them. So what are they called? Air Screamers? Yeah, I had to refresh my memory with the enemy names because it's been a while. So we'll, uh, instead of calling them pterodactyls and monkeys and teddies. Yeah, let's check out everything to the town center. Go a big circle around all the streets, map out the thing, because next time we're, we come back here, it's going to be night again. Uh, nightmare or other world, whatever. So... What's here? Nothing? Nothing there. Well, luckily for now, there aren't too many rompers, the monkey enemies. But I know later... Ooh. Doesn't seem to be useful. Later on in the night, it's really gonna be hard avoiding them. So it's best to just blow them out with the shotgun. It's very peaceful. Hopefully I didn't jinx it just now. That's a garage. I don't think I think it's gonna be important later in the other world. Mario 10, what is that? 
Wish I could read the map that's like 100 pixels tall. Try reading that. I don't know, it looks better on stream again. Like on the TV, I can count every pixel. So yeah. The blur kind of helps. Can I read those? Nah, they're still like... <laughs> it's FAA? I don't know what that is. Nothing here. At least we mapped another street. Ooh, right. That's going to be necessary for later, yeah. <laughs> the way he runs, like... No supplies, really? Nothing, it's so devoid of items and everything. Rest a bit, Harry. There's probably gonna be some shit up ahead, because it's been silent for quite a while. I know the place is called Silent Hill, but... Ra radio. Huh, radio. Andy shop? No. What's going on with that radio? Just false alleys. Ah, another dead end. And? You know what? At this point, I could stop sh start shooting the, the screamers as well. Though we will we'll have an, a lot of nurses later. Just ignore him. If there's a good opportunity, I'll go for it, but I won't chase him. Something's coming. Another cut-off street. Well, that's gonna look good on the map. Ooh, nice. I can't carry any, but nice. I don't think I should pick up any more bullets. Oh, jeez. How did you get there, big boy? <laughs> I didn't expect him to be there at all. Whew. Okay. So, yeah, I'll be in front of the hospital now. But I could turn back. Turn right to Wilson Street and check out the inner circle or just do it from Crichton Street maybe there was something behind me I didn't see that's the hospital parking yeah so now let's keep going here if there are some rompers I want to take them out now was that oh, okay this is where you start this is somewhere where you start Silent Hill Origins actually I mean yeah after the intro bit that's where you end up in this street and your very first location there is El Camilla Hospital again not counting the intro you okay Harry he's okay I keep hoping I'll find something new, but there's nothing. Ooh, nice. It's a cafe. Can you get into the back door? Nope. Payphone? Nope, he doesn't even want to try at this point. Woohoo! I can hear him. So are we close to the bridge? Almost. I don't think I'll find anything new here. There's the bridge exit. Okay, now we know the place. Rest up, hero. Okay, next up we're gonna do a round around the inner circle here. Actually, yeah, all the way there, there.
Hello. Goodbye. He starts catching up. I'll try the breaking trick. Ah, oh, didn't work. Okay. Can't work every time. Woo! Alright, they're really... They're much easier to dodge, though I remember I had more trouble with them than uh, air screamers before. I forgot what the dogs are called. Something like the mutt of darkness, or not really, but... <laughs> what was it for the dogs? I know later you have worm heads. When everything becomes even more bizarre and challenging. Holy shit, it's a romper. Two rompers. Why did I need this in my life? Ooh, there's a health. That's why I needed that. Ah! <laughs> too much stuff, too much stuff. Run to safety, little boy. Run to safety. Oh. How's my health? Still ticking? Yep. Okay, that's not good. I didn't want to enter the map, I'm sorry. Should live through that, but yeah. There, this is too many to fight at once, no matter. Okay, that worked. Let's enter the gate. You too, Toby. Where's the other one? Pow! Sounds like he's saying pow. Okay, before we enter, recuperate. That was almost done. I think it's the same two rompers that keep respawning after a while or when you move to a different uh, map tile because they weren't there before right but I've checked the Simmons Street just Wilson Street is left I can do this there should be the post office yeah Uh, space to the wall. Is there anything here now? I know later we're gonna have a boss here, but is there is there a romper up there? I think that's a romper up there. I wish I could see. Oh no, it's just the water tower. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's literally nothing here now, nor does it serve any purpose, I think. No items, nothing. Not even a view, because, as I said, the fog was introduced to bypass the PlayStation 1's limited hardware capabilities in order to be able to make a fully 3D you know, world polygonal world no pre-render background so as you can see there the corner of that building straight ahead there it's clipping out of draw distance and the rest of it that's supposed to be kind of transparent it's it's a technique called dithering where every let's say second or third or whatever pixel is filled so it's more like a checkerboard but on the old television and i don't think even on the stream it's not nearly as noticeable yeah um but yeah clearness so clear clearer picture also means more uh any of the distortions will be more not noticeable anything here hidden huh i could have sworn maybe in origins again because now i'm mixing these maps Yow! 
Sounds like the dogs are saying, yow! <laughs> if they're rompers, you just turn. Yep, even if they're... What's the dog again? I know they're not Muttleys. I'm going for that uh, health kit over there. Those monkeys won't stop me. They might ma make me use it, but that's a different issue altogether. Goodbye. Woohoo! <laughs> Let's run for the hospital. Can you enter the emergency? No. He can't jump over it or duck over it or anything for some reason. There we are, Al Camilla Hospital. Now we've checked this place, there's no health here for now. Might be later. For now, let's just enter. Hello? Ah, huh, someone's fighting too. It's gonna be explained later. There's a safe spot here. I don't know if they're marked on the map. So well designed for such an old game. Oh, there's the map. Okay. I think we're gonna meet certain someone right about now hello doctor yep that's it so was that an air screamer Hold it. You have worse aim than me. Stop. Dude. Don't shoot. Wait. I'm not here to fight. See how calm and collected I am. Harry Mason. I'm in town on vacation. Thank God. Another human being. Do you work here? I'm Dr. Michael Kaufman. I work at this hospital. So maybe you can <laughs> oh tell my God, me these what's going on. I really can't say. I was taking a nap. You can tell me. <laughs> I'm a tourist. Up, it was like this. Liar. Everyone seems to have disappeared. And or maybe he's not lying. This time of year. Something's gone seriously wrong. No. Did you see those monsters? Have you ever seen such aberrations? Ever even heard of such things? Ever made these I awkward pauses? Creatures like that don't exist. Yeah. Except they do. Have you seen a little girl anywhere? Fuck your questions. I'm looking for my daughter. She's only seven. Short, black hair. She's missing. I'm sorry. But with all those monsters around, I highly doubt that she's... Bedside manners, Doc. Sorry, I didn't mean to alarm you. Your wife, she's here with you. She died four years ago. Now it's just me and my daughter. I see. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Well, I'd better be going. <laughs> I can't just sit around here doing nothing. Let's not team up or do so anything long. smart. Good luck out there. Asshole. <laughs> Give us good music though. That looks like a baby air screamer. Why do you get to fight a baby and I get to fight the big guys? So not fair. Wait, what did it say? Nothing useful. Okay, nothing helped. Nothing unusual. Anything in these? Like maybe health? That's where he sat, like in the middle of the room. Huh, nice. 
A whiteboard, nothing special written here. Nothing unusual. Okay. Helpful, unusual. So we're just looking for helpful and unusual things. Is that right, Perry? Really nothing in this room? Maybe later? That's what I wanted. Yeah, med kit. And the map. My most favorite item in survival horror games. Okay, that's it from here. I just tore the whole goddamn map off the wall. It's like in many games, they just like copy it into their pocket book or whatever. No, Harry just like tears it off the wall. Fuck everyone else who might need it later. So over here, probably gonna be locked or not. Huh. Ooh, it's one of those spots where the frame rate is beautiful, as you can see. Hello, zombie. Hello, my zombie. Wow, look at that. Look at it, zombie. So, so smooth. Can you see that? Like it's in another game. And then it has to draw a few more centimeters and it dies. Well, this is a small room, so no wonder it's running smooth. Oh, there's a newspaper. This article's been clipped out. Huh. So where's the rest of it? He doesn't find whiteboards particularly interesting or helpful. I kind of remember her being medicine, maybe here somewhere, or that's probably going to be in the nightmare section later. If you haven't missed much zombie, it was just me trying to steal all the loot from the monsters. Oh, we're on the other side, so we can unlock this side now, probably. What, no? So that one stays locked? Huh, I forgot that. So, through the medicine room. Wait a minute. I skipped a whole section. Huh, okay, no. We'll get there from above then, yeah. Then I didn't skip anything. I didn't skip jack shit. Nope. Oh, I love it how this game doesn't load. It has kind of has caches room, rooms or whatever. I don't know how it exactly works because I can hear it when it's loading. When you can see because it takes longer, right? Where are we now? Staff room. Hospital basement map? Sure. Take all the maps. So here... Damn, I forgot to check about the ending. I think there are two things you need to do. Or one thing you need to do and one you need to skip for the ending I want to do. And... It's very important because it's coming up now. So let me just check. Unprepared streamer is unprepared. To my defense. I've been working since I opened my eyes till just before the stream. So pardon me. Tunhill. Z. Let's check the next room while we're doing that. Nothing in these, no. Very silent, very hill. All the whiteboards are on an... Oh, is that a symbol? Oh, just like decoration, okay. Where are the nurses and doctors? I think they'll be here afterwards. Oh, got something. Basement key, all right. Gonna find out more about Alessa. Nothing unusual. Tell me that whiteboard is not interesting. I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. He did it anyway. So, director's office is going to be important. 
I remember that. I think it's a direct road. Yeah, it's over there. That's gonna be important. And elevators out probably for now. Again, I can't remember. I'm, I have mixed memories of Sun Hill 1 and Origins now because they use the same hospital. So, hospital? I meant hospital. Uh, what was it? Damn. Oh, that's very nice. I forgot about this if you don't do anything. Okay, yeah, okay. So I need to do both of those things that I was thinking about in order to achieve this specific ending. Oh, I think somewhere here I'm gonna find the vial. There. Oh, that was fast. Okay, I thought it's gonna be somewhere in the bottom of the... Nothing to worry then. I think I'm just... I just keep thinking I'll miss something because it's been so long, but apparently... This is like... Pit. I like this level of detail in games. And what, what I mean is, I like how it can be detailed, but still not take me five goddamn days to check. Like, imagine if this was made in today's graphics. It's not even that, like, you gotta have good graphics, but is this the director's office? Yeah, so that fast? I kind of remember that taking a lot longer, but... Wow. Someone searched here. So we should see. There we go. That's what I was looking for. You hear that? Really, not even one. So, the whole purpose of this is for me to do this. This. How did you empty it from the floor? Now, this is gonna be useful way later. Holy shit, what a model! Yeah. Pardon me. Unknown liquid. Wait, shouldn't there be something in his desk? Or is it uh, for another game? That's it? So ghastly silent. Now where do I want to go first? Up or down? Because one of these... One... Something will take me, huh? To the other world, but I can't remember what. So let's go to basement first. I don't know, I guess. Zombie, do you remember? I think it's the... Full elevator floor that transports us to the other world here. Okay, these are easy. No, get away. Any doctors, nurses? Use that ammo. We got so much ammo that we'll really be silly not to use it. Yeah, would it work? Yeah, okay, I have to do something there to start the elevator. That's right. Okay, so that's why we go to basement first.
He enters with lights off. That's very nice of him. Generator room, I think is the first thing we want to do. And what's right next to it? Boiler room. Okay. Jammed. Jam. Jam. Oh, okay. So generator room is the only room you, we need. Okay, game. If that's, if that's how you want it. That's how we're gonna do it. Whoop. So, uh... Elevators, ICUs, and operating rooms only. Yeah, why not? Oh, that sound. Ooh, David could open this. Shit. You hear that? Not scary at all. So I guess enter the elevator here. Is that all the rooms? Seriously? So let's go to the second floor first, right? Ding. No health. No nothing. Oh, okay. Then let's fuck the second floor. Let's go to the third floor. Maybe it'll be nicer to us. I think this is the thing. Oh, what's wrong with her? I think it's just the angle. Yeah, the way it looked over here, like she has a very weird neck issue. <laughs> whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, over here. I think it's time. This is the spot. This is it. Everything is much sooner than I remember. Now we should get a fourth floor button. Yep. Get ready. Now we're entering the hospital. Loading. Huh. That's the pawn shop we were at when I said we'll need this later. Yeah. Now we gotta escape from the hospital. So right now if I open my map, I don't have a map of this place, huh? I am pretty fucked. Did it just lock? Yep. I don't hear any. Okay. Now I remember having a good nice it's locked. Hammer for the enemies here. Holy shit. The, even though I know the game, it's unnerving. You get in, you do stuff, and after a few seconds it just goes click. There we go, we're going down. The non existent fourth floor. Okay. So this is Otherworld, which is why, yeah, this is before we could compare the maps, so, knowing where I am, let's check them from the top to bottom, why not? Puppet nurses? That one's dead. Is there another one? Mm. 
Now we get more cunning, more intelligent enemies. Now if I could only remember where I found that hammer before, that would be peachy. What's this? Oh, just the floor. Oh! Yeah, fuck it. Just expend all the ammo. Whew! She cut me once, but that's okay. I'm still using the pistol because we got so much ammo. And I want to enjoy using the shotgun later on. So this here, if I remember. Yeah, there's going to be... Going to need several items for this here. Nothing there. Nothing else to pick up, I guess. At least I don't see anything. Nope. The music is not helping at all, I will admit. Door, door by door, come on. Oh, there's a safe spot. Nice. What about... What was it? Did they stay... Uh, I don't think they... Ooh, yeah, we'll need that. We can also check what's the max for the shotgun shells. Now, let's be mindful how many we have. 45. What, 171 of these. So, um... I hope it's like 100 or something. All but usable. We will use it later. Hmm. What do you mean useless now? Cut. Like they're not useful anymore or I think I should have went there that's right nice So these are puppet nurses, but there are puppet doctors. They're kind of, they're one step worse. Oh, okay. We've been all, all the way here. So I haven't been to 301. I haven't been to the bathrooms. Can I remember a cage, an empty cage where a bird still fluttered? I guess nowhere. So we got a cage. We got a wall thingy. No enemies, okay. Ooh, what's this? The first of the many plate of turtle, okay. That's gonna be for... I already mentioned this before. We're gonna have an Alice in Wonderland puzzle. Square blue plate with a picture of a mock turtle. Okay. Okay. Actually, I have 20 of these. Just keep, keep them fresh and... Healthy. For fuck's sake! What was that? Sometimes it's noticeable, sometimes it isn't. Kind of remember when that happens, in the next room you're greeted by some enemies or something like that. So just for now, let's get ready. Ah, that was for nothing. Back to the old pistol. 
Pistol. I don't know why I gave it that accent. Pistol. Sir, do you want my pistol? Storage room first. From it to storeroom. That sounds like it's gonna be... Useful. Oh, look at that. What's this? Rifle ammo? No. Bullets? Yeah, bullets. No music. Don't be don't be maddening at all. Just chill out there. <laughs> so he is commenting on bottles. Okay. Gonna need that. Blood pack. Nothing useful. So we're not going there. Wait a second. Wasn't there? No, it's not here. Remember a secret passage? Probably not here. But I'll try nevertheless. No, it's not there. Okay. Hmm. Never mind. Let's go to 305. Three oh four. Nothing here. Oh, there's one of the plate thingies. Plate of cat. Now again, every time I do an objective or like do any key items, I expect more of them to spawn outside. That's a thing. So. Better be prepared. And I want to see what the square yellow played with a picture of a Cheshire. Okay. Unlock. And that leads to the elevator. Okay, now let's go all the way back and use the stairs, I think. I, I can't remember. So there's a trick why we didn't go there. Second, first, but not to the basement. Let's just check it out. A few seconds. Nope, it works. Alright. Easier to breathe. Let's get ready for the second one. Some of them are definitely easier to take down. Now let's check out this. These Hello, Seaward. How are you? Thanks for dropping by. <laughs> Thank you, little rascal. Thank you so much. <laughs> A slate. Nothing more than that. This is scary shit, Seaward. My god. Oh, okay. Grim Reaper's list. Lydia Finley, Trevor White, Albert Lords, Roberta, Roberta Morgan, Edward C. Briggs. I think it has something to do with the age. I think that's their age. Now we gotta find the rest of this puzzle. Let's start with the bathroom. That's always fun. Good. I'm not complaining. Down, girl. Kick her in her boil. Ugh. Ooh, a lighter. Yeah. 
It's scary in a different way. Homecoming. I love Homecoming. That's a pretty good one. <laughs> yeah, it went a little... People don't like Homecoming because it went a little too, like, literal. I, like, it wasn't so much investigating. It was, ooh, look, a metaphor. A very obvious metaphor. That doesn't bother me, but it definitely bothered some people. I don't know. I like that game more than... I'm gonna say more than Silent Hill 3, even though I... Ooh. Even though I adore Silent Hill 3... Oh, right. Okay, so... <laughs> Look at him! You okay, boy? Look. <laughs> Look, I got something for you. Uh, what was it that I have for you? Yeah, it's a blood pack. 200 milliliter. I don't think it cares. Quickly. Before it becomes aware of myself, of me, myself, plate of the hatter. All right, third piece to the puzzle. I think, ooh, very nice. She, the design of her and pyramid head is, hmm, that empty slate has something to do, got to something to do with the one I read there. The design of her and pyramid head is very nice, though I'm not, I don't like all of the Pyramid Head's attacks. He should have more of a swing, less of a trail. Well, we'll get to that bridge when we get to Silent Hill 2. Mm, hello. Clouds flowing over a hill. That's the puzzle. Sky on a sunny day. Tangerines that are bitter. Lucky four-leaf clover. Violets in the garden. Dandelions along a path. Unavoidable sleeping time. Liquid flowing from a slashed wrist. <laughs> All of a sudden. Okay, this is it, yeah. Four square indentations. Okay, so we use the colors that we already have. The four here, white, black, orange, and purple. And try to match the, the other four. I think I have two by now. At least two. No, I have three. So, the paper said. The paper does not stay... Like in all the later games in your inventory, you have to go back for it. Because Harry can obviously rip a fucking map off the wall, but take a piece of paper. No, God, that's too much. Clouds flowing over a hill. That's the blue one. Sky on a sunny day is second. Okay, sky. Uh, let's do that. Well, I remember. So, right... That's not it. I think I messed something up. Hmm. Let's think about it. Don't be hasty. Clouds are white. Sky would be blue. Tangerine's orange. We have that. Green is four leaf clover. We don't have that. Then violets. We have that. Then dandelions yellow. And then blood red. Okay. Let's put them in. So let's start with. What did I say first? Blue. there no don't take all of them at once just let's do this for each fucking plate <laughs> what was it oh we do have yellow so green then yellow and the last one i pick up is going to be red okay right i'll check it again and then dandelions maybe i mixed up green and yellow and the last one should be red. Over here, this is Harry Mason. This is Heather's father. Uh, this is Silent Hill 1. So, um, Cheryl is her name right now. She's missing. I'm looking for her. And shit just, you know, hit the fan. So, green, yellow, red. Okay. He's going to have, so he's the main guy here, and he's going to be semi-important in Silent Hill 3. I will poke a lot of hills in, hills, holes in Silent Hill 3. 
Mark my words. But yeah, he's kind of there, and then he's the protagonist of Shattered Memories again. Yes. Well, so there's two of her right now, because she split. So there's Cheryl, his daughter that we're looking for, and there's Alessa, the, the one who, from she split off from. Now, the hospital I'm in, this is where Alessa was hospitalized, is still. So that's why the hospital went to Nightmare nightmare realm now or the other world so everything just went dark and rusty and bloody when i entered a few moments later i went through like a psychedelic a non-existing floor to get here and she is somewhere behind the storeroom i'm pretty certain uh there's a secret room and behind the storeroom where alessa is hidden no alessa is her real self her mother is dahlia gillespie a very naughty lady Oh, it's locked. So I, yeah. So that's what we're working on this uh, this puzzle lock. So it's, since we've done all done all this here, I'm just gonna go check the first floor and then through the elevator areas. Ooh, more nurses. Oh, this is a doctor. Fuck, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Don't use the shotgun, shoot him with a gun. Yeah. Wow. Bravo, me. Much better than I remembered this going. Okay, let's check the map. Where the fuck am I? I want to go... Do I want to go to the waiting room? That's the entrance? Yeah, that's the... That's where... Yeah, let's start from the entrance, actually. And then we'll check everything else. If it's accessible, which it isn't. So, Alessa... There was a girl, Alessa, a daughter to Dahlia Gillespie. Her name was Alessa Gillespie. She had special powers. Uh, there, are, there were a lot of them. Just before you came, I killed a shit ton of nurses. These are the doctors. They're like a harder version. So there's a puppet nurse and a puppet doctor in the first game. Doctors are much harder. And they both deal a ton of damage. So you should be very careful. Shit. And I'm using a pistol, which I shouldn't do. I should use a hammer or a shotgun, but I'm I'm somehow nailing this still. So there's another one. Reload. There, there's two of them, I think. Come on. All right. Kick him in the balls. Uh. Wow, that's... Zombie, you were right. Maybe I should have went with hard. I don't know. Maybe it would have been fun. But we'll, we'll do that in the next run. Okay, so let's check the storeroom and office and then, then the medicine room. I love the storerooms. Usually they are full of goodies. Well, not this one. This one is pretty... Fuck you, storeroom, you're empty. I was fooled by the name, there's nothing here. My heart died a little there. What happened here? Nothing, just the sound. Holy shit, those sounds. Nobody in invited them. Yet they're there. Pistol bullets? Nothing helpful. Whew. So I was, as I was saying before, a C-word. Uh, so Alessa Gillespie was a daughter to Dahlia Gillespie, right? And Alessa had special powers, and Dahlia was a... Dahlia was a big shot. Ha <laughs> ha! Thank you, Seward. Oh my god, that's so sweet. Thank you. Uh, Dahlia being a big shot in a huge religious organization that has, you know... Oh, okay. Huh, someone ran. I know who's there. Um, we're gonna have to free her. Dahlia wanted her daughter with special powers to... Now, I'm giving you a very short version of of like the history of Sun Hill up to this point. Oh shit. 
Okay, it's time for the shotgun, because... Oh, or maybe not. I think this is the thing that can insta-kill me. Uh, she wanted um, her daughter to give birth to their god. Is there anybody here? There he is. Two shots of the shotgun. Okay. Alright. So... She performed rituals on her daughter. And... Um, basically needed to sacrifice her in order for her to give birth to God. But... At the moment of the sacrifice, so to say... Uh, oh, there's health here. Alessa splits her soul into two and at that moment Harry and his late wife find a little baby girl and they name her Cheryl so six years later Cheryl wants to go to vacation specifically to Sun Hill and Harry takes her and then this shit happens and she disappears and there's more of that backstory in Sun Hill Ooh, there's more. Okay. Oh, fuck you, game. And Silent Hill, um... What was I saying? Origins, which is the prequel to the first game. And there's some... Like... Some holes, some plot holes, or not plot holes. Some questions are kind of answered in Silent Hill 3. But not completely. I think there are doctors waiting outside. So I'm gonna go with the shotgun. Queen of Hearts. No saves, because we got the balls. Nothing unusual. Nothing unusual. Yeah, there are probably gonna be doctors outside. Thank you, see. Oh! Okay. Damn, this game was so much harder when I was a kid. I remember not having ammo here, even on normal. What is this? Like, <laughs> I can just, like, machine gun them with the pistol. Okay, we got the last plate. Holy shit, that basement entrance. Before I go there, there should be... Yes! Yes! Wait a moment, can I story more than 20 at all? Oh, I can. Nice. So much health. <laughs> yes. So, vending machine was selling medicine bottles. How does that work? Does the elevator work? Why did I unlock that part if it doesn't work? Maybe so I could get to the other side of the second floor. Get me out. Let me out. I want out. I know I unlocked it on the third. Oh, there's a basement too. What happens on the second floor then? If I have the plate, should be nothing there, but still. This is where I unlocked, right? Yep, so on the second floor, that's the locked bit. It should be completely locked, if I'm not mistaken, on the second floor. Maybe there's an item or something. Nope. Yep, it's locked from the other side. Okay. So that's what we got all those plates for. What about basement? Do I dare? Shit, son. There's more of them there. Much easier than the mumblers. Yeah, I think so, zombie. Nursey. 
So what was the stairs for? So I can use the stairs and the elevator to do it? Let's try it, actually. Is it gonna open? Yeah, it's the same shit, so... I guess just so you have a choice, I don't know. Though it does... There's, there is a loading screen between basement and the first floor. So I guess there's something bigs down there. I mean, I know what is, what's down there, but still. So where do we start with? Let's start with the... That. There it is. Nice. The ultimate weapon for nurses. And actually a lot of other uh, enemies. Bravo, zombie. Bravo. Your memory is awesome with these old games, man. Hmm. 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 We should have it here. Hard to use? I remember it being fairly easy to use. So, so if you, like, hold it, he goes dead. But if you do this, they can't even approach you. You can keep them at bay. Let's try it out. Got a lot of hell to dick around with that. Locked. Okay, we're gonna need a key for that. Let's try it. Ah, oh, what the hell? Ah, oh, it doesn't work like I remember. Ah. Oh. Are you holding me so the other one can stab me? <laughs> what? Are they trying to subdue me? Yeah, let's try it. I have enough health. Just don't die and all should be well. Oh, yeah. Ah, if you could just stop alternating. So just the timing. Yeah, I remember that. It's really good for killing nurses and doctors. And pretty much everything else. Ampule. Yeah. Or ampule. Ampule? Ampule? Ampule. 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 Ampule? I'm now I'm confused. I've just confused myself. It's a morgue. The frame rate is shitty and it's a morgue. You want to check it out? Maybe he had something important. It's a morgue filled with medicine. Yeah, they're all like scary beds. Okay, then screw the morgue. Enough morguing for today. Alright, all that's left is go back to the third floor and unlock the puzzle. I think I've checked everything that could be checked. I'll just open the map to confirm. This is going pretty fast. I'm a lot faster than... Again, everything's much easier than I remember playing this. Being the hardest of all the Silent Hill games. Origins was also very hard for me. First five times. But then I realized you don't have to fight everything. I was on the fourth floor. Remember? It's a false floor that took me to other other world. And I think it's even mentioned in Origins. Yeah, it's actually it's on the second floor. Okay, I need to get to the stairwell. Through here. Just run all the way there. Stairs down to the second floor. Then over to the puzzle door. Over there we'll have the operating room and all that. We gotta find the key. The lower room. Everything, we just need the examination room key and we need the storage room for the basement. A lot of dead nurses here. Oh, look, their bodies disappear. That's not a thing. From Sun Hill 2 onwards, all the bodies stay. Still don't have a screwdriver though. I remember I'll need that. One thing I liked a lot about, oh yeah, this is gonna be, I think this, this season, this isn't even for now. This is gonna be necessary way, way later. There we go, the puzzle door. We can put the Red Queen one. Uh, from Homecoming, Seawards, I remember, Seawards? Seaward, I remember uh, the melee being the best in the series, probably. Like, things you could do with melee, and... Pick your melee weapon for different enemies, like the knives for nurses, because they're fast, and, and dogs too, and bigger weapons for bigger assholes. Holy shit, that's a lot of health. 
Well, the only one that's left, Harry. The only fucking one that's left. <laughs> Charge! Oh, that had to hurt. Oh, that had to hurt. Who's next? Come here. I hope that one behind me is dead, because otherwise I'm pretty fucked. Come on! You can do it. Oh, shit! That one's dead. Oh, it's not dead. It could have gotten up and killed me. Jeez. Should check. Yeah, guns, the way guns worked in uh, Homecoming, you you use them for only the strongest of enemies. I, I, I kind of liked that. It was a pretty, you felt like a, like someone who can fight back. Oh, there's going to be two of them. So right now, fuck the melee here. I'm going to fill them full of shotgun rounds. Well, two should be enough. Yep, and then the other one. Shouldn't be a problem. Alright. Not bad. I remember these used to torture me because I would force force it into melee. And of course they surround you like those two and grapple you and all that. Okay, where did I come in from? And where am I? Why is there a door here? Oh, going to the operating room. That's right. Nice hit, Harry. There's one of the keys. The music is going wild. Nice. Okay, that's where we're gonna see. Uh, we're gonna have an insight into Alessa's suffering. Things they did to her to give them birth to their god. And by they, I mean the doctor we've seen, Dr. Kaufman. It was like, oh, this is a pretty normal doctor. And uh, Alessa's mother were one of the main to blame. So, from here, I have the ICU 205, 206. And then we can go to the basement. And as for the keys, keys... The hospital basement storeroom key found in the... Okay. Nothing important about it. This is like a torn card. Nothing behind it, though. Yeah, don't look down, Harry. Just look left and right. That's right. Genius. I hear things. I don't see things. Oh, I, I see things. Ah! Yep, I was faster. Is she dead dead? She's dead dead. Okay. There's another bottle here. I think that's gonna be for a puzzle. This Disinfecting al alcohol. What will I disinfect? I can't remember this piece, but we'll see soon. No, music. Don't chill out at all. Jam. That's very nice. I have plenty of those. This should unlock. Yep. And now we go to the basement. Loading? Something big. What was it? The storeroom? It's this one. So there will be a secret door on the op opposite wall. Let's just pick up all the ammo and shit. Because the hospital needs 
bullets in its storeroom, of course. Shells too. Very important medical equipment. Here they are. Anything else uh, among these shells? No? No health? Okay, let's push this. You should comment on like, because you can see the scratch marks there. Yeah. So going here, we should be able to push it. Yeah. Unlike in Resident Evil, here it's a cutscene. Okay. Time to see Alessa's life. Okay, that's the puzzle, I remember. Look where they put her. Mind you, so she was burned alive, yet she still still lives? Because of her special powers? I'll help you. By using fire, your phobia, ha ha ha. Okay. No, this is gonna be very tricky. Should be surrounded by enemies here. Yep. Oh, instant death. Nice. Come on. I love the hammer. I love it. Come on. Kick her while she's down. Down on the ground. Okay. One of these rooms will be Alessa's. Oh, I don't have the map of this place. Okay, there should be a couple of rooms. There's one big there. And more down there. So is there anything here now? Ooh, twofer. Wait, what was, what was the other grade? I don't think... I don't think there's anything there, actually. Yeah, cannot be opened. Okay, it will be openable later. When we when we reach nowhere, nowhere. See where this. What is that? What is that? I heard bottles breaking for absolutely no reason. Well, remember that beginning, it wasn't that easy until we got enough ammo and and the hammer now. Oh, there's the cassette. Well, I want to see that. Now, I do want to see... Yeah, we still need more keys, right? Jammed. Second on the right, was that Alessa's room? No, it's jammed, okay. The other one was jammed too, right? Yep. So one of these is gonna be Alessa's room. What's this? Looks like someone's been here. Poor Alessa. So that she would have, she would be what, 
16 now, but since she was born again, and in the ending I'm aiming for the good plus ending in this game, she will be born again. She will give birth to herself, which is just so mind-blowing. I don't know. The first time I played this, when I realized... So the first, first ending I got, of course, was the bad plus. Not the bad minus, bad plus, I think. The one where turns out that everything was just his, like, dying hallucination. It cuts back to the intro where the car crashed and you see him bleeding. And the whole game was just a hallucination of a dying man, right? But then I got the... The canon one, the one I want to get here, and that, like, the, just, both of those endings <laughs> blew my mind. Okay, we're gonna watch that. We have the liquid. Let's explore her room a bit. Was there something here? I kind of... Okay, I have memories of this room from mixed from this game and Silent Hill 3. So I kind of expect more things. Oh, there we go. Come on, comment on that. I know there's a thing there. You can... Oh yeah, this is just supposed to show us. She was sick. There was medicine. She was burned alive. All those stains came from her bleeding and suffering daily. And from that torment, she kind of... I don't know if she really gave birth to or just influenced the creation of or you know the birth of the nightmare other world definitely helped with it because things you see here are a product a products of her phobias and uh, it's personal for Alessa Every enemy we meet has something to do with her. Okay. So let Let's go watch the tape. Where was that third floor, I think? Where am I? Shouldn't this be where am I? Oh, I should be in the basement. Yeah, okay. So straight to the elevator and then first floor. A uh, third floor. I like how he can... Yeah, he's not gonna do there. Needs a few more steps. But he just smacks his face against the wall. Doesn't care. <laughs> the player's telling me to go here. Well, I guess I'll just hit the wall with my face. Okay. Let's do it again. Ugh. Okay, the recorder was... I still need the screwdriver, though. The recorder was right behind me. Okay. Let's take a peek. What is keeping that child alive? I remember this. I think I'm gonna find her diary in an, in another game. But yeah, we're about to meet her, Lisa Garland, one of my favorite Sun Hill characters. So I think it's fastest to go down the stairs. Was there a boss in the hospital? I don't think there's a boss here. The next boss will be the moth. Right? Yeah. The post office moth. So, what was it? The examination room? <laughs> Shh. 
surely nothing there, Let, nothing in the corner. I kind of remember here being, being things, but again, maybe, maybe in another game. What does that key say? Nothing special. Poor Lisa. Finally, someone else who's okay. Who are you? My name's Lisa Garland. What's yours? Harry Mason. Uh, Harry, tell me Look what's at their happening hands. here. Where is everybody? I must have gotten knocked out. When I came to, everyone was gone. It's awful. Notice that we're in the same room so where I met Dr. Kaufman in the fog world. Great. I just don't get it. It's like this is all some kind of bad dream. Yeah, a living nightmare. They're on something. Let me ask you, have you seen a little girl around here? Short, black hair, seven years old? How many times have you asked that? A seven-year-old girl. What, she's your daughter? Yes. A seven-year-old girl. I can't say that I have. I was unconscious all There's the a reason why she's so weird, but yeah. I'm sorry. Ah, <sighs> that's all right. Do you know anything about all that weird stuff in the basement? No. Why? Is there something down there? You don't know? Don't you work here? We're under strict orders never to enter the basement storeroom. But you were there. So I really don't know. I'm not sure if she doesn't remember or she's lying. Down there. Well, it's... <clears throat> Damn! My head! What's wrong? Harry? Harry, let me help you. Wait, so the screwdriver Harry? thing is for later? Back to Fog World. You were too late. That's her mother, you. Dahlia. Crazy lady. Yes, Dahlia Gillespie. <laughs> Announcing herself like a Bond Tell villain. Me everything you know. What's going on? Darkness. No. The town is being devoured by darkness. Strength must overcome petty desire, childish sleep talk. Uh huh. She was good. She was a good person in the movie. Here she's bad. What are you talking about? I don't understand a word of this. Here she's the worst. She sacrificed her own daughter. The other church in this town. That is your destination. This is beyond my abilities. Only you. Liar, liar, pens and fire. Have you fire. Not seen the crest marked on the ground all over town? So that's what I saw in the schoolyard. What does it mean? It is the mark of Samael. Samael. Don't let it be completed. Hey, wait! I'm not gonna go through the door after you. Oh my god, they always do that. <laughs> oh boy. So, yeah, I think the rest of the un unexplored uh, Dark World, Other World Hospital will be explored through nowhere, where we're going to end up later. Maybe even here. Oh, I'm back outside. Was there anything back there? Medicine, examination, office, reception. Let's check the office, just in case, because Kaufman was there. Maybe something comes back. Oh, also, I'm not sure if I should save before the boss, but because I'm stubborn, I probably won't. <laughs> nothing in the office, nothing in reception, probably. But 
since I'm Harry Mason, I can't just jump over the fucking counter. I have to go three goddamn rooms back. Because the reasons. Do I end up on, in another? Oh, okay, yeah. So there shouldn't be anything back there. But let's check. I, sh I think the rest of the hospital should automatically lock down now until, until a certain point. Is it jammed on this side? Yeah, I think it's time to call, kill the moth. There's no hunting rifle yet, I think. So, yeah, this is the last place where you can pick up the... Uh... Never mind. The anything. Yeah, it's not working and never worked. You were just tripping balls. And everything else will be locked. Yes, all the doors have been locked. Uh, in nowhere. That's nowhere. There's a lot of shit that goes down in nowhere, zombie. Because uh, it's going to start overlapping realities. So you'll go straight from the hospital to the school to her childhood home and all that. And uh, at, that's where, you know, you see a lot of backstory. Like, the uh, game gives you bits and pieces mostly, th yeah, mostly through Dahlia by, this, by that point. But then you actually see a lot of it for yourself. Now, I'm just gonna run upstairs outside and kill the. Ooh! Green lion. Let's let's press forward. Let's let's do a little bit more. I think it should be dark now or maybe that's after yeah i think that's after i the boss is not gonna be here yet yeah so let's just go he'll be there in the night fuck those okay straight then left yeah Use the poles to confuse them, because they suck at navigation. You gonna be monkeys here? Let's see what this does to monkeys. Oh. What about you, sir? You wanna fight? Come back here, bus. Yeah, there you go. Ah! Just hit him in the head! Yeah, that, that really hurts them, obviously. So you can... Ruin the rompers with this. Now I feel powerful enough to actually... How long? What do you mean long way to go? Oh, uh, to nowhere? Or you mean... I did, I did a lot in this session. Oof, map, you're my best friend. So keep running all... The... That red building down there is bugging me. Are we sure I can enter it? I'm gonna go back and check. Cause it... Oh, it's the, it's the air screamers, oh my god. Ah! Is it this one? I just wanna check the red building and I'll be back, I swear. Is it this one? Should be right here. So if they're red, they should be accessible, right, zombie? So why can't I enter this? I... Maybe on the side? Fuck those guys. I just want to enter some the, the red building. Maybe it'll be accessible later. Ow! Oh, pecky asshole. See this thing? It feels like it should be accessible, but it's not. And it's red on the map. But yeah, anyway, let's go to the pawn shop. So the pawn shop belonged, belongs, belonged, either way, to Dahlia. 
and that's the that's the other church in this town. So she's she's using Harry basically to do her bidding. Yeah, in the in the in the mall. Should be called Green Lion Pawn Shop, right? Yep. I like how they did it in uh, Shatter Memories, the reimagining of the first game. I love the I love a lot of locations how they did there. So antique shop, go in there, and we should be golden. We should see Sybil now for the first time since we split ways in the beginning of the game. I need the light. Click, click. Okay. There's a clock. Nothing special. Now I know when I do something, uh, Sybil will come here. Hmm. Look at the lightning effects. Like, dear sweet mother of mercy, they're too good for their age, you know? Okay. What's this? Harry. The gun you gave Sybil? me, bitch. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're okay. I shouldn't have left you. Things are worse than I thought. It's nuts. No. What are you doing here? I thought you left town. I saw you go in here, so I followed you. I couldn't get out. All the roads out of town are blocked. Cars have completely stopped running. The phones and radios are still out, too. What about my daughter? Did you see her? I did see a girl. But phones and cars. Cheryl? I only caught a glimpse of her through the fog. Yeah, so did I. After her, but she vanished. I don't know about your daughter, but. And you just let her go? Where was it? On Bachman Road. She was heading towards the lake. Now don't get excited. It wasn't like she ran off exactly. There's no place for her to go. The road has been obliterated. What? So then Cheryl... Is Jesus. It's like she was walking on thin air. Well, they, she kind of is for the cult's religion. What about you? Anything? I'm not walking on air. Yeah, nope. I met this bizarre woman. Her name's Dahlia Gillespie. Do you know her? Dahlia Gillespie. No. And? So what of she it? She said something about the town being devoured by darkness. Gibberish like that. Any idea what it means? Darkness devouring the town? Must be on drugs. <laughs> oh, yeah, because... The force still can't figure out who's behind it. Definitely not None the flying pterodactyls and hellish teddy bears. And the investigation is stalled. Must be on drugs. What could drug trafficking have to do with all this? I mean, can't you see? Fucking teddy bears, you're on LSD, bro. <laughs> I really don't know. But maybe that's the darkness she was talking about. Yes. That's so this bit of. is almost entirely ripped uh, from Twin Peaks, which is good. I mean, you can see the influence, but the whole like drug subplot and discovered it. drugs have actually been used Maybe why am I quoting there. basically being look. used as a connection to the other world yeah Twin Peaks Twin Peaks we don't know what's Twin back Peaks. There. I'd better check it out first I'm a cop I should go yeah but I have a hammer I'm going all right I'll cover you from here 
looks fishy, get back here on the double. Okay. Sybil? Yeah? Do you know anything about... Well, like some other world? It's like some kind of bad dream. What are you talking about? I'm not quite sure. I try to make sense of it, but then my mind goes blank. Everything's dark there, and I hear sirens in the distance. I met this nurse, Lisa. It's like I was there, but not really. It's all a blur, like some kind of hallucination, you know? Must be on drugs. I have no Definitely. idea what you're talking about. Definitely here. drugs. Oh. I was just wondering. Never mind. Harry. You're tired. And drugs. Yeah, maybe. And off he goes. I mean, I laugh now, but back in 1999, this game was out of this world. Like the full moving polygonal 3D world. The lighting effects. What's the, this? The subtitles. Some kind of Resident Evil didn't have subtitles until Outbreak, like only in Europe. Maybe this is the other church. And actually didn't have real subtitles until... I don't know if 6 has them or is it in 7 that it actually gets actual subtitles. Is that... Looks like somebody drew a car caricature of a... Of an executioner. What the hell? Like he's got... Is that supposed... Oh, that's supposed to be vo their god. Okay, yeah. I thought it's a muscly man with a hood. Yeah, that's supposed to be their god. And my final boss. Okay, so... Ooh, axe! What was the axe like? I forgot. Compared to the hammer. What do you think, zombie? Oh my god, the lightning effects. Look at that. Look at the illum illumination. Look at... You know how hard this was to calculate on the PS1 hardware? Again, 1994 hardware, folks. That's like, I don't know, making a ray traced game on a xbox 360 i don't know i can't even think of a good example how advanced this was and we still didn't reach sun hill one moderately effective let's see what was it i think hammer is better but very fast hmm and i'll still go for the hammer because i know the timing so it's not too hard to do it Let's go into death. Oh wait, it's jammed. So there's nothing there. Oh wait. Kind of powder. Can I do something here or just, just take the axe and go back? Hmm. Let's get one of those. I don't know actually. Can't remember. I don't have a lighter to light them. The door's locked, so I think I can only go back the same way. They're gonna talk, or she's gonna be missing, or something like that. Yeah. What the? Harry? Are you okay? Harry? Harry. I think we just missed each other in different dimensions. Huh. Where am I? Harry. Oh my god, it's so he headachingly blurry. Genius. And I'm in the hospital? You were having a bad dream. Was I? Was hey, I? 
Really? You don't look too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. Nothing you need to worry about. Well, if you're sure. Lisa, do you know a woman named Dahlia Gillespie? Oh yeah, that crazy Gillespie lady. She's kind of famous around here. She never sees anybody, so I don't know that much about her. But I heard her kid died in a fire, and supposedly she's been crazy ever since. Lies, all lies. Well, she says the town is being devoured by the darkness. Must be on drugs. Drugs. Do you have any idea what she's talking about? The town devoured by the darkness. Yes, I think I do. Before this place was turned into a resort, the townspeople here were on the quiet side. That looks really nice. Everybody followed some kind of queer religion. Weird occult stuff. Black magic, that kind of thing. As young people moved away, the people figured they'd been summoned by the gods. <laughs> Evidently, things like that used to happen around here all the time. Which part of that? At the resort, there really wasn't anything else out here. Everyone was so flipped out, you gotta blame it on something. Then a lot of new people came in and everybody clammed up about it. A cult. Last a cult, you say? About it was, gosh, years ago. When several people connected with developing the town died in accidents. People said it was a curse. Oh, I'm sorry. I love her voice and her. She has like a speech thing. It's very noticeable. I don't know what it's called, but I love it. Fun fact: her name, Lisa Garland. She was named after. Was that another dream? Damn, Harry! Just wake up for fuck's sake. Did I pass out again? Welcome to your death, bro. Alluding to the the end I mentioned before. See? And it's one of the endings, actually. So back to the hospital, I guess. Yeah. Lisa Garland's name is uh, from Judy Garland. Again, Wizard of Oz was one of the first motifs in the game when we did the, the house key puzzle. So that makes a lot of sense. Where am I right now? I should be still. Yeah, this is going to be Dark World. Boss after boss, enemy after enemy. So, you know what? I'm going to go for it. I was meaning to end the session here, but I'm going to go for it. And then save afterwards. I have 56 shotgun shot. I should get the the other thing too. I don't want to start the next session with a boss fight. So better. Holy shit. The camera angles are just amazing. Look at that. There's going to be two boss fights in a row. So. Welcome to the Dark World streets, where everything is fuckier than you're used to. Oh shit. Don't save the... The shotgun shells, except when you do want to save them. Alright, who's next? Oh, okay. Bite, bite, bite. Very hard to dodge, but try to get him first, and he's yours. Can you enter here? No, okay. Holy shit. Holy ass. Holy moly. I gotta change my curse words. I'm using the same ones. The, the safe ones. 
That's a, that's a worm head dog, I'm gonna say. I'm just gonna safely assume that. Yep, that's a worm head. So there's a parking garage. It's not open even in uh, the dark world. Whoa! I should be able to enter. Yeah, there we go. Why, though? I can't remember why I'm entering here. Oh, huh, something happened with the... Sound? Okay, that was weird. Yeah, it's glitching for some reason. You know what? This is creeping me out. I'm gonna I'm gonna go and save. Just in case, because it's a very old game, just so we don't have the repeat of the Resident Evil 1 <laughs> stream where I didn't save and the disc decided not to load anymore. That was a scary experience. Just enter the green lion. Okay. Come on. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, now whatever happens inside, I don't care. I just saved. Yeah, I don't know why this part bugs. Giga store. Now there's gonna be something when I go to a certain place and this is all gonna be I'm gonna say imitated in Sun Hill 3 in the very beginning I don't know why they went with that couldn't I think of any more ideas or what was it Damn. She's not there now, champ, but let's go. Let's go against one of the... Now these two boss fights always kind of seemed like they were tacked on. What is wrong with the sound? Unnecessarily. Like they were building a game and because of time constraints they had to change things out. Something's there. Let's check this corner first. Rest, Harry, rest. Oh, yeah, it's time. He reacted just as I did. <laughs> Yeah, this guy is easy on this one, if I remember correctly. I should get the uh, rifle from one of these. He's also gonna try to poison me in something. 
Now I'm not sure if it's gonna drop after I kill him or how was it? Oh, there it is. And although we got a rifle, we're gonna keep it. So I'm gonna keep saving the rifle for, for the final boss. Since I have this many shells, I'm just gonna perforate them. Okay, watch out for wherever he... Ah! Okay, that hurt him. Yeah, that'll work. So just keep doing that. Ah! I kind of feel that the bosses in Silent Hill 1 are a bit too easy. I can't remember on hard mode what was different. But I know that's a bit more challenging, but still, it's not. Some of the regular enemies scare me more than the bosses. Oh, for fuck's sake. He's dead? Yeah. Is it gonna melt now? Oh, he wasn't dead. Oh yeah, he was. He's he's done for. I think the purpose of this was just to get the rifle. I don't know. I don't know if it was skippable. If anything would change. And why the so sound goes crazy. Yeah, but we're done with this part, so that's okay. Should be out now? Or am I gonna end up on another side where I couldn't? I think that's it. Yeah, and we're gonna have the demon flutter butters. Holy shit, yeah, I forgot about those guys. They're the scarier version of the Air Screamer. So, most of the time it's... Why am I heading this way? Oh, this way. Most of the time it's advised not to fight them. But I could take them down here just to make the exploration a bit, a bit easier. So, they will replace... I think all the air screamers at this point. That still works? I got hit. That's okay, I can survive. I got a ton of health. Just gotta find my way to the back to the hospital. Woo! The streets are very hard to navigate now in the night. So I'm just gonna go... Actually, let's check that thing. So turn left here if possible. See if that building's... If I can maybe visit it from this side. Nope. Ooh, what's my health? Mark of Samael is there, I can see it, but is it important? Why is that why is that building red? Okay, let's go to the house. Ah! Bullshit, he turned. I don't think I can get to the hospital right away. Game, you cannot support this many enemies on screen. Obviously, <laughs> you're having issues. So. Oh. Yeah, it says I am low on health. Maybe I should go with one of these now. No. Ha <laughs> ha. 
That skip and a hop. Can you even enter the police station now? It's still a safe area. All right. All right. Is there anything different? Ooh, it's got rifle shells. And pistol bullets. Logs jammed. The save point is still there. Alrighty, folks. We can end the session here. We're going to start next time with... Um... Hmm. Wait, shouldn't there be... Yeah, we're going to start the next time with a with a boss more info and a new location so let's make a save here survived all that police save six that's it okay back to police that was that was really this game i don't know it's still very playable if you ask me even i know it looks okay and the graphics are shit and all that but it's still it's a quality build game and for what they had they nailed it. Alrighty. Uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you Zombie and Seaward for support. Really appreciate it. Tomorrow we will have a Gears of War evening. Uh, gonna have a co-stream. And day after that would be Thursday. Is when we're back to Outbreak. Friday back to Silent Hill. That will be all from me for today. Everyone have a wonderful day. Bye bye.